there is a very interesting way how a customer or a subscriber actually lives through the product it means from the service provider viewpoint a product is offered by a service provider a customer a group of customers or a subscriber base interacts with that product either quits that product or continues to use that product and helping the organization the service provider to survive in the market so it means it is going to have an interesting um impact on how exactly the subscriber lives through the product in various phases how the product catalog can be related to the subscriber life cycle um and how can it be of benefit to the overall business and we'll just quickly look at the kind of flexibility that a service provider has to ensure if it wants to survive and make money in a certain business environment so let's look at it from the uh, product initiation point of view a certain product which is offering certain telecom services is offered into the market a subscriber enters into a relationship with the service provider the first thing is subscription we call it the pre use phase or the pre activation phase after having successfully signed the contract also known as the service level agreement the customer starts using that service in active mode a customer may periodically intermittently or in any certain temporal manner can have dormant phases when the service or the product remains totally unused by the subscriber a subscriber may opt to temporarily or permanently suspend a service a subscriber tries to play over smart and starts abusing the service now the particular product which is offering certain services would start generating lesser revenue as it was expected so this would be detected and that particular customer would now be marked as gray or a blacklisted customer as a fraudulent customer there is a possibility that a customer stays with the service provider continues to have the subscription with a certain product but ports out or actually use uses porting to another service provider it means the product is actually being continuously subscribed to but the subscription is generating revenue in a shared model with a third party and in another instance a subscriber could actually be in a incomplete or partial relationship where this contract has not been fully signed and the customer is in limbo or in unknown state with the service provider in order to have a full assessment of the total number of customers which are present and are in in contact with the service provider with regards to a certain product and the options the types of that product how many of these customers are in which phase actually is going to determine the overall business state at the moment that is the current state some interesting conclusions can be learned and can be drawn from the historical behavior of a group of customers or a subscriber base and on the basis of it um future planning or also known as the forecasting can be performed like the customers or the subscribers have a life cycle vis-a-vis -vis 
a product the product catalog as a complete suite of services can also go through a certain life cycle for instance a product could be offered at one point in time it could be removed from the offering it could be reintroduced with modified features so it means now it is going to be an interesting relationship and a very um worthy exercise to be done where a business model is realized that mixes the product catalog life cycle with the subscriber base life cycle this mix and match actually can tell tale about the overall business viability of the whole service provider let's look at a very simple way in which um through an example we'll see that a certain customer can have varying behavioral impact on a certain product we are not looking at it the other way where a product could have a behavioral impact on the subscriber depending upon the temporal or time varying um options and the types that it has we are going to look at the case where a simple user goes through various phases and interacts with the product assuming that a user subscribes to monthly billing for let's say making voice call with some data and sms package now the customer actually has the right of way or has the option to select the billing time period the user can actually decide that well i uh, being a salaried uh, customer opts to pay on the first day of every month the system which is the product catalog which is active database a live database interacts with the customer account every month on the first day and renews the contract continues to offer the service if sufficient funds are there so these funds in the form of billing are automatically deducted or debited out of the customer's account we can look at the other possibilities if there isn't enough money or if the user is overcharged what's going to happen in fact a complete switch case or if else um scenario can be realized in fact these product catalog databases do all that so over time when the customer interacts with the product depending upon the features the options and the types of the product a customer can enable and disable certain features of the product so it means the overall expectancy of generating revenue from a certain product highly depends upon the dynamic behavior that a customer has with the product